Hey everybody, what is up? Hello, welcome to this, the channel's 100 subscriber Q&A. Holy crap, I was not expecting like to get here to 100 subscribers. Uh, thank you all to who subscribed. Hey, what is going on? Thank you for taking a chance on uh, this channel. Grateful, just thanks to all those. Again, sorry, but like I gotta keep saying it. Just I never expected this to happen. I've been going up and down in uh, subscribers. People would come in, they would subscribe, be like, "Oh, it's just blah blah blah." Hey, what's going on? And then they would just, I guess, unsubscribe or just be like, "All right, whatever." I took my shot on this dude, and you know, all right, you do what you do, man. And, yeah, and just, it finally just, I guess, stuck around that, hey, this is for real, you're, you're at the 100th mark. So, in keeping with, uh, YouTuber's, uh, tradition, I guess, or custom, it is, uh, only right for me to make the 100th, uh, YouTube subscriber Q&A. So, I posted on Twitter, hey, you know, hey, what's up, it's on Twitter, what's going on, um, Submit some questions. Like, go ahead, hey, ask me some questions, and I will put them in a video just for you guys. And I'm answering them. I have a few here. Um, so I'm just going to be answering those. So, yeah, let's just get right into it before I start babbling on. All right, so the first one we have here is from King Wolfington. Wolfington? Wolfington. There it is. Sorry. Got a little tongue-tied there. It's just so emotional making this video. <laughs> uh, ooh, I got first. Yeah, you did. Uh, what made you uh want to YouTube? Want to YouTube? And where where do you see yourself in three years from now? Where do I see myself in three years? Uh, okay. So two parter. Hmm. Uh, what made me want to start YouTube was uh back when we were when I was playing. Uh, in the on the PS3 uh, with some friends, we were playing GTA, uh, GTA 5, and we would be getting into so many hijinks. We'd be doing so much cool shit together uh, that there came uh, it came up up in time and time again. Like, hey man, ah oh, dude, that was so fun. You guys remember that? Remember that time? And it's like, yeah, I remember. But at the same time, it's like, man, we should have been recording that. And it's like, oh man, for real, we should have been recording that. And, you know, it just kept going and going and going. So I just decided, hey, I'm just going to make a channel. And that's pretty much where I started. Just influence from friends, just wanting to record and document this, all these funny times. You could see that in my uh, GTA series finale. That right there is just pretty much the start of this channel hopefully editing grizzly has been putting these videos up so you can see what i'm talking about put something in the background you idiot that way it's not just a freaking black screen and yeah and where do you see yourself in where do you see yourself going wait hold on where do you see yourself going with it in three years um hopefully just Doing what, I, just keep doing it. Just, just bringing just laughs and bringing that good stuff for anyone to enjoy. Just to be stopping by and be like, you know what? Yeah, I like this. Yeah, this is pretty cool. And yeah, just, well, I don't know, really. A lot can happen in three years. I could just stop doing it the next day, or I'll just be taking off with it. But yeah, pretty. Much, I will just keep doing it. I'll keep going as long as I can. Just making all that good stuff for people to enjoy. Alright, thank you, Wolfington. Uh, here we go. Here comes the next set of questions from Emma. At Azuru Plays. Hello, Emma. Congrats again, Grizz. Oh, thank you. My question for you would be, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? Uh, a traveling question. Hmm. Well, there's so many places in the world I would want to go. But I would have to say I would want to go to Europe. Europe has to be that spot 
on the world that I'm like, uh, right there. This, this is this is right there. This is good. Uh, I <laughs> I say Europe because um, there's just so many so many countries right there. It's just uh, just the melting pot of cut of cultures. So yeah, um, just go to Europe. Just take one of those Euro trips and just go from place to place to place. Like, oh man, I would want to go to. I would want to start off in England. Um, then go I don't know just anywhere actually just pick a country just boom there it is you would go to Sweden go to France go to Spain Germany anywhere around there I, I would I would love to do that just to see and just experience everything that's around there just because I've never really traveled outside of the country and I would figure hey what just go big just go to Europe and just start going from place to place to place Number two, if you could have a superpower, what would it be? If I would have a superpower, what would it be? I would have to, I would think it would be something like, oh, I would want to have the ability to fly or the uh, super strength or I'm gonna be super smart. Uh, those are good, but I feel like I would probably just decide to do like, if, uh, no, the power of creation. Hell yeah, the power of creation is, you know, to me is creating something from nothing or being able to create something else from another thing. Like, uh, what's a good example? Like, Full Metal Alchemist. You know, you see how uh, alchemy is not really, mm, but whatever, just like that. I <laughs> just go with not real life alchemy. Uh, with, uh, like that, just how he's able to make something you by using something else whatever he needs uh whatever it need be so yeah power of creation just like hey uh i'm in this situation right now shit uh hold on let me just snap my finger and start making something that was gonna help me out so i'll probably do the power of creation all right thank you emma for those questions traveling questions that really got me like hmm I should probably travel more. Next question we have here is from Yushu Gaming. I hope I said that right. I'll just say RJ for short. Uh, if you if you had to pick one game to play for the rest of your life, for your gaming life, what would it be? Hmm. If I were to pick one game for the rest of my gaming life, what would it be? Hmm. Now that is an interesting question. If I were to play, I, I know I would probably get board so it would have to be a game that's that's big and a lot of things to do in it so i don't know i don't really know can i just probably well probably not even a hypothetical well, it could be a hypothetical question hypothetical answer it'd probably be a pokemon game like you know so like i would think like one day i'm just i'm trying to trying to call it right now one day uh game freak and nintendo's gonna be like you know what Let's take all the Pokemon games and put them into one super fucking game. And it's just like, you go all over the world, all over those uh, regions, do all those Pokemon. That would be the game I'd probably play. Just to do that. Yeah. The, the uh, I want to call it Pokemon World Wide, I don't know, something like that. Or, if, 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 just to be real, like a real game, probably Pokemon Emerald. I love that game since being a kid. I mean... It was probably the, like one, the one game I would just play over and over and over. And yeah, so either a hypothetical Pokemon game where all the Pokemon are in one game. And that's going to be a big game. Or just Pokemon Emerald. That's the that's my choice right there. Thank you, RJ, for the gaming question. Let's go to the next one. Ah, another one. Another Pokemon question. If a Grizzly Badger was a Pokemon, what type would it be? If Grizzly Badger was a Pokemon, what type would it be? I would probably say a ground type. You know, because I would think, you know, badgers usually are digging around, making holes and stuff, and bears are around the forest. So, hmm. What? What? Well, probably maybe a rock type? No? Rock ground type? I'd probably make it the same as uh, my favorite Pokemon, actually. Well, one of my favorites. 
Uh, Agron? Hell yeah, dude. I love that guy. Put him up. There he is. Look at that. That other guy looks cool. Uh, I'd probably make him like that, like him. He's a rock ground type, I think. I don't remember. It's been a while. I remember his name, but I don't remember what he, what typing he is. But yeah, a rock ground type. And by the way, my favorite Pokemon is Cyplosion. But all right, all right. Thank you, Turbo. Keep Turbo with it for your question. All right. Oh, we got a new, we got a set of questions right here. Congratulations. These are from Fun at Fawn of Dawns. Hey, how's it going, Fawn? It says, congratulations, I have a couple of, uh, I have a couple of, you're still taking quite, all right. I am, hey, you made it. Uh, you have, all right, number one. If you could time travel, where would you go and why? Oh, if I could time travel, go anywhere. Hmm. Wow. Uh, if I could time travel, go anywhere and why? Shit. Eventually. That's a real hard question because I, it's basically just anywhere, any point in history, which is like just there's just so much. Hmm. Let's see. Uh. Do I could time travel and go anywhere? Wow. Damn. Um. I, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. Uh, probably, you know what? I, yeah, you know what? I do. You know, I'd probably just be pick a spot anywhere in the world and be like, all right, here's a good spot. And I would travel 100 years into the future. Just like, all right, 100, just boom. Jump, I'm there. And I would want to see if uh, things do get better for this planet. Because right now, it's looking like shit. To be honest. I mean, really. I would want to go and see like, all right, did the humanity learn its lesson and fix everything? Or just, you know, hey, be better. Or did we all let it really go to shit? And that would be something I would want to see. And, you know, probably where I would want to go. Just any point, any point on the planet, just be like, all right, let me see this. Boom. There it is. All right. Yeah. Oh, God, man, this time traveling question really stumped. I couldn't pick any time. Uh, let's go on to the next one. Number two. What is your biggest pet peeve? My biggest pet peeve would have to be when something is supposed to be working and it's not. And I can't find what is wrong with it or I can't, like there's not like, oh, dude, you're supposed to be working. Come on. Like, for example, uh, it, as a kid, have you ever gotten a toy and you got like, oh, I'm going to start playing with it. But it didn't work and when it's supposed to like it's brand new it's like oh man this is cool and it doesn't want to do what it has to be doing that is probably my biggest pet peeve when something isn't working and it's supposed to like there's nothing wrong and yeah that's i hate that it's like mm, work you bastard all right the last question from fawn is what is your version of a perfect vacation my version of a perfect vacation would have to be going to a new place and it not being so hot or cold. It has to be like perfect temperature. Like it's just beautiful. I would say like 70 degrees. I don't know what that is in uh, Celsius. What, is, what would, would that be? I don't know. I'm an American. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, uh, just somewhere that's new and it's not hot or cold. It has to be like spring weather or fall weather. I don't want it to be cold as fuck or I don't want to be hot as hell. But, uh, yeah, that's a perfect one. That's a perfect vacation for me. All right. Thank you, Fawn. Thank you for your questions. That time travel one really gave it, like, really made me think it over. All right, here we go for the last set of questions. Last couple. Uh, this is from Sam Shadow from Sam Shadow Gaming. Uh, I have a couple. Yes, sir. Let's see what you got there. Uh, what's your favorite game ever? And if you have some of your favorite, if you have some favorites, uh, if you don't have a specific one. Uh, my favorite game ever. Hmm. My favorite game ever would have to be uh, the game you're actually playing right now, uh, Sam. Uh, Spyro. 
playing that spiral games dude oh man I love that little dragon dude I remember getting it for the PS1 and my uh, parents uh, for Christmas they, they're like here's a PS1 I'm like oh snap I was like yes yes but it didn't have a, it didn't have a game so I was just like oh I have a PS1 and I don't have a game so my parents were like psych here's a game and they gave me Spyro with it. It was like, whoa, like it's a little dragon. Like, dude, cool, D D dragon. And I just love playing it. I just love playing all those, uh, the trilogy, the, what was it? Spyro, Spyro Drifto's Rage, and then Spyro Year of the Dragon. Which is like, yeah, I'm just gonna stop there. After that, uh, I don't know what happened to Spyro. I don't, I, have you seen some of the, what is it? I don't even know what they're called. But he looks funky looking. I like going back to the old classic one. So which probably uh, is like watching your videos is like so nostalgic for me because I remember every single part of it. And uh, while I, when I was a kid, I was like, oh look at this, look at the skateboard. I remember that. I remember doing that a lot. And uh, yeah, Spyro. Any one of those trilogies can just can I, can I just say the Spyro collection, the new HD collection. Alright, number two, and this is the final question. Uh, why did you choose the name for your channel? Why did I choose the name for my channel? Grizzly Badger Plays. Well, plays, you know, obviously plays. You know, I'm just fucking, I couldn't think of anything else, but... Uh, Grizzly Badger comes from my gamer tag on the PS4. Uh, it's Da Grizzly Badger. And that name came to be because... that came, It came to be... When I got a PS4 and I had a name before and it's fucking Edgelord as fuck. It was high school Grizzly decided to be, hey, I want to be cool. And it was Blackwing, which is basically just Crow. And I got a PS4 and I thought, I don't want to be Blackwing anymore. <laughs> I grew out of it. And uh, while I was right there thinking of a name, I just typed in a bunch of stuff, so... At the time, also, it had happened to be where the whole Grizzly Badger or Honey Badger don't give a fuck, Honey Badger don't give a shit phase was going on. So I thought, hey, Badger's pretty fucking cool. Look at this fucking thing taking on stuff. That would be a pretty cool name. So I typed in Honey Badger. Uh, I don't, I didn't like putting numbers because I feel like that wasn't really that much original. So uh, you know, if I see a name, a gamer tag, I'm sorry if you have a gamer tag that has that, but for me. If it has like numbers and symbols and like little lines underneath it and stuff like that inside of it, it just means to me like, hey, uh, there's more of that out there. It's not really that original. I'm sorry again, but I didn't want that for my name, so I would put Honey Badger uh, Adrian, my name. Honey Badger Adrian, uh, nah, I didn't like that. Mm. So I went back and I was just stumped. It was something to do with Honey Badger or just Badger in general. So. I was sitting there looking around and I noticed I had a Chicago Bears flag on my wall. And I, I thought, hmm, maybe Grizzly Bear? Grizzly Bear something. And Grizzly Bear, ate, again, I wasn't really thinking a lot when I'm creating this name. But it, it, it was stuck between Grizzly Bear and Honey Badger. And yeah, that's pretty much where I got that. Also, what really sealed the deal was, at the time, I was watching a show. I don't know if you guys heard of it. It, it, it was called Avatar, The Last Airbender. And I was watching that at the time. And I remembered that in the show, they have these animals that are, you, that are made up by two different animals and just put them together and make one. Like, for example, I think the one I remember most was the lion turtle, which is basically a fucking lion with a body of a turtle. And I thought, why don't I just do that with grizzly bear and honey badger? So, you know, I just started doing that, fidgeting with it, and it was grizzly, a honey grizzly. And then, uh, what was it badger bear? And I just, eh, you know, it's it's there. And it just came up to me just being like, hey, why not Grizzly Badger? I thought to myself, 
in avatar logic what would be more cool than a bear like grizzly bear sized badger or a badger sized grizzly bear you know and the oh my god that would be so fucking cool and yeah just that's pretty much how that came to be just grizzly badger i added the da at the end because again chicago they fucking say da the super fans i don't know if you heard of them so yeah that's pretty much how it came to be da grizzly bear and just for the channel i just got rid of da and just put grizzly bear grizzly badger and yeah that's how that name came to be and that's how this channel came to be yeah how you guys got it to 100 subscribers again i would have to say thank you guys very much for getting to getting me to this point working you know hey give again giving me a chance and just subscribing and just coming by and watching the stuff I put out. Um, yeah, that's all the questions. Thank you guys again for the questions. You know, I'm what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna leave a link in the description for all these guys' questions, uh, for all these uh, people's Twitters, uh, some YouTube accounts. I'm pretty sure they they have them. Uh, yeah. Just leave, a descri leave it in the description. Just, hey, go check them out. Be like, yo, Grizzly told me you guys are pretty cool. And you guys are. And, you know, subscribe to them. Subscribe to this channel. Leave a like down below. Let me know what you thought about the uh, the answers. You know, like, hey, oh, I didn't know that. That's a pretty interesting way, though. You know, that's a pretty interesting uh, answer. And, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for uh, watching. I think that's call of this uh, Q&A. Let's just keep this the uh, this snowball rolling and just I don't know what's the next goal 200 500 a thousand Pe PewDiePie Nah, I doubt that but you know hey let's just keep <laughs> let's just keep this going you know keep supporting each other and all this stuff uh, thank you guys again uh, if you like the video leave a like down below comment what you thought uh, share with your friends because you know hey this guy's pretty funny let's, let's fucking share these experiences these funny times with them and make them have a nice laugh and you know ring that notification bell i know sometimes it doesn't really work but you know it's something you should probably be doing anyway or whatever stuff and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next one thank you